What's up Ablation Nation, Kevin from Project Laser and we are back with another day of laser cleaning for you. Got a massive job, it's about four, five, six square meters. So we're using the M100 from Forjet, which is an absolute beast of a 100 watt laser. It's got 6.7 millijoules compared to the regular 1.5 millijoules that most other people have. It's safe so there's no one else walking around the home, there's no other trades. Just got to do basic precautions such as filling out our paperwork, putting up some danger tape and our signs. And we are pretty much good to go besides our own PPE, of which we use the beautiful 3M PAPR. Um, obviously gloves, safety glasses. That should be the basic precautions for every laser cleaning operator. Obviously you don't need a PAPR, you can wear a half face respirator if you like. It'll give you the same sort of support. Once the laser was ready and the area was safe, it was time to do the last little bit, which is just protecting the window frames from any stray laser beams. You can use insulation tape on a, a little job like this, otherwise aluminium tape or blue masking tape works really well. And after that, yeah, time to zap away for a sh rather short amount of time. So initially, we've just got to do a little sample bit, which we've done and worked out we had the right settings and from then it's basically just zap 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 100 and 200 watt lasers have a short focal zone so you've got to make sure that you're keeping it in the correct area so that you don't put too much heat into the surface or alternatively you don't clean properly because you don't want to have to go over a whole area that you've already cleaned for a second time because you're out of focus we rarely clean with the m100 because we've got the big 500 watt from forjet but in instances like this where we can't access it with the big machine the M100 does a great job. In this case, there was a fair bit of discoloration given that this type of brick just tends to soak in the soot more than others. But with that said, the result was still exceptional and a lot better than any other technology is basically gonna get. So occasionally we're called in to clean up after dry ice and very regularly we're called in to after high pressure washing has failed to do a suitable result. The idea of laser cleaning is it really can pick contaminants off the surface of a porous material basically better than anything else without damaging it. Now was that Bob's your uncle? We had already finished the back and it was time for us to move on to the front where there was a very light layer of soot about five, six hundred millimeters or just over a foot extended out from the door and basically just dissipated as we went along. So the beauty of laser cleaning is the laser will tell you when the surface is clean. We'll extend down until the laser is basically saying, Oi mate, we're done now. And the same would be as we're going along to the right hand side. Eventually the laser just gets quiet and you know you can stop. 